Hi, I'm Jackie Van Roller, creator of the Flow Method for Radiant Health and Beauty. And I love helping women feel healthy and beautiful so they have the confidence to go after everything that they want in life. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the lungs and the lungs and what they show up like in the face, whether they're balanced or imbalanced, and um, a few things that you can do. So the lungs are reflection from like right above the brows to underneath the chin right in this area. Um, and so when you have healthy looking skin in this area, it is a sign of your lungs being imbalanced. Now if you have things like broken capillaries, rosacea, um, redness, irritation, bumps, acne, or any of those things, it can be a sign of imbalance in your lungs. So your lungs are responsible for obviously the intake of air and then exhaling carbon dioxide. And so what you really want is to be able to take deep breaths. So when your lungs are out of breath, out of balance, you may find that you are breathing shallowly and you may find that your cheeks just don't have, they may be kind of like a dull color. They may not have a lot of vibrancy. Another thing that the lungs do is they regulate your pore size. So large pores in this area are a sign of lung weakness. So when the lungs are nice and strong, your pores will be closed and you'll, you really won't be able to see them. But when your lungs are imbalanced, your pores may be kind of flaccid and weak. And what this does is this allows bacteria to enter in through those pores. And so it actually weakens your immune system. So large pores are a sign of a weakened immune system. And you're more likely to get things like colds, flus, viruses, and sinus infections. The lungs also um, have to do with um, sweating. So sweating, if you're sweating normally, that's a sign of good lung function. If you're sweating profusely or you have kind of cold, clammy sweat, that can be a sign of poor lung functioning. The emotions associated with the lungs are sadness and grief. And so oftentimes, things that show up in this area can be either a physical manifestation of weak lungs, or it can also be feelings of sadness and grief that have been prolonged. Um, so oftentimes rosacea that shows up here, or capillaries, or um, any sort of skin um, imbalances like eczema or rashes or things like that can actually be a sign of holding on to prolonged sadness and grief. Or it can also be, you know, lung weakness like asthma or um, pneumonia or things like that. I once ran into a woman and she, we were talking about her skin and she said that she has kept getting these breakouts like right in this area. It was like a line of four or five um, breakouts right in this area. And so I started asking her about her lung health. And I was like, well, have you been sick lately? Any you know, like sinus infections? Um, anything going on with your lungs, asthma? She's like, well, I had pneumonia twice this year. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, that makes a lot of sense then. Um, that would be a, a good reflection of, you know, having some in the outer lobes of her lungs, just having some weakness in that area. And so then I kept asking her, I was like, well, anything going on? You know, any sadness or grief or anything that's, you know, seems to be affecting you? She was like, yeah, I broke up with, you know, long-term you know, a long-term boyfriend at that same time. So it's interesting that that's how that showed up on her face. Um, other things that can happen um, when you have weaknesses in your lung is the lungs, when you obviously breathe in oxygen, that provides energy for your whole body. So if you're breathing shallowly, and you're not taking enough air, you can find that you have low energy. Um, one, a couple things that you can do to expand your breasts are you can take your thumbs this way and flick out on this part of your cheeks. This is great for panic attacks when you're breathing really shallowly, but also just to open up the lungs and cause in a deeper breath there. You can also take your finger and massage this part of your nose. This is a point that relaxes and opens the diaphragm and causes you to take deeper breaths. Additionally, if you have things like rosacea, broken capillaries, or things like that, then um, I would recommend that you take my upcoming five, um, the five-week facelifting course. In this course, we're going to talk about um, many different massage techniques that you can use to bring balance to your skin while also bringing balance back to your body. So we're going to be talking about giving yourself a facelift, um, using the techniques that I use on my clients, and also stimulating specific points and zones in your face that'll help to relax your body and send um, healthy, relaxing signals throughout your body instead of the stress signals that you're usually sending. 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe. And if there are things that you want to learn about with your face and your skin, be sure to leave a comment and um, share these videos with your friends. I appreciate it.